discuss the characteristics of UJT. This is the circuit diagram for the study of the characteristics of N channel UJT in which battery VBB is connected between base B1 and B2. The positive terminal of the battery connects with base B2 and negative terminal of the battery connects with base B1. The other battery VE is connected between base B1 and emitter in forward bias. This figure shows the curves between emitter voltage VE and emitter current IE of an UJT at a different fixed voltages VBB between the base B1 and B2. These curves are known as characteristics of UJT. If VBB is made zero and a voltage VE is applied to emitter, the resulting current IE flows from base 1 to emitter in external circuit and a curve which is simply diode characteristic at that time IB2 equal to 0 that is current from base B2 to emitter is 0. Now if VBB is made suppose 5 volt initially it VE increases from 0 slightly leakage current flows from base B2 to emitter. This current is due to the minority carriers in the reverse bias diode formed by emitter E and base B2. Above a certain value of VE, emitter E and base B1 becomes forward bias. Hence forward current IE begins to flow. IE is increasing until the peak voltage VP and current IP are reached at point P. After the peak point P, an attempt to increase VE is followed by a sudden increase in emitter current IE with a corresponding decrease in VE. This is a negative resistance region of the curve because with increase in IE, VE decreases. The negative region of the curve is ended at valley point B, having valley point voltage VV and valley point current IV. Further increase in IE places the device in the saturation region, with characteristic approaching that of a semiconductor diode. The region left to the peak that is this one is known as cutoff region because in this region emitter base junction is cut off that is reverse bias. The region between peak point and valley point that is this one is called negative resistance region or active region. The region right to the valley that is this one is known as saturation region. The decrease in resistance in the active region is negative resistance region is due to the holes injected into the N type slab from the P type emitter when conduction is established. The increased hole contents in the N type material will recombine with free electrons in the channel and hence conductivity increases and corresponding resistance is dropped. These are the typical family of emitter characteristics curves of an UJT for various values of VBB. Student, in next video, we will discuss about uses of UJTs.